Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. This is the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions from the worlds of TV, film, sports, pop culture, social media, everything really depending on the guests we talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Meliotis, and on social media, you know me as PD Beats. Outer Banks continues to take the world by storm on Netflix, uh, an amazing show um, with some amazing uh, people that star in it. And we're speaking to one of those actors right now. He plays Kels. We are with Dion Smith. Dion, welcome to Pop Turnative. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. And we talked about it a little bit. I mean, hasn't even been a month. This is insanity. Oh man, it's it's been absolutely crazy. I think crazy is an understatement, man. Like for it to just be doing this well, this quick, and like all the love that we've been getting has been amazing. It's been it's been awesome. Yeah, so man. whether you know you act, you write, you know you play music, you direct, you're all storytellers. When did Dion Smith decide he wanted to be a storyteller? Like when did that happen? Yeah, so. It it, it kind of happened. <sighs> weirdly it happened when i was like younger and i kind of just fell into it like yeah. um I, I was just i was really into like wwe uh action figures like i had like a huge cool wrestling guy here huge yeah, wrestling bro. guy back when it was cool like i feel like it's kind of it's still cool but i feel like it's i don't know it's just w- weird now but i used to have like a collection like a huge bin of action figures wwe action figures and like I, my parents had this old vhs camera just laying around the house and I remember just like I started watching YouTube videos, like, um, mm-hmm. and this is when YouTube was just getting popping. Yeah. Um, and I was like, yo, I want to, I want to make videos, like, I want to do this. So I, I just started like filming my action figures and like doing little scenes with my action figures. I didn't know how to upload the videos to YouTube or anything like that. I was just filming and then like playing it back on my TV. And then like as I learned more about it, I I got a new camera, then finally learned how to like upload videos on YouTube, and then I started making like sketches and stuff like that. And then um, I basically somebody, which is actually a, like my mentor now, he's a photographer, discovered me and recommended me to an agent. And I started auditioning and just fell into it like full force. So, For sure. Yeah. No, that That yeah, is awesome. Man, I mean, yeah, you, you do you do a lot of photography, not just acting, right? Like I saw the, the yeah. wedding stuff on Instagram. Yeah. So my brother and uh, also my mentor, he um, his name's Terrence Antonio. He owns a photography company who I've been working with since I was 15. So I've kind of gone through that and just became a partner. And I do, I'm like the main videographer for that company. And also I do photography too for it too. So Very, very cool. Um, yeah, so man. Outer Banks, it's on Netflix right now. Hasn't even been two weeks. <laughs> yeah, um, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hasn't even been two weeks. Oh my gosh. It's crazy to think of. That's so, now thinking about that, that's so crazy. It hasn't even been two weeks. It hasn't been two weeks. Like where are we going to be in like a month or like a like? It's just like thinking about other shows that, you know, that progressed, like how they progressed and how we're progressing. Like, what's it going to look like? That's crazy. So let's dissect this a little bit, Dion. I mean, this is a show that has a lot of like, you know, people are going to say, why should I check out Outer Banks? I feel like there's a lot of different things. I feel like it looks amazing. The cinematography, like they hit it out of the park. You know what I mean? For one. Yes. I think the performances from everyone from top to bottom are just fantastic performances. Um, Mm -hmm. But I also think... One thing that I love and appreciate about shows and movies is the music is amazing. The songs in it are so good. And yeah, the man. score is also amazing. It's amazing, dude. Um, so, like, I actually wasn't very familiar with all the artists that they used and, like, all the songs that they used. But, like, as soon as I heard the soundtrack, like, I, I remember showing my parents first. Um um, showing them the show yeah. and they were like the music in the show is great it's it's so fantastic it fits the vibe of it and stuff like that and i know some of the cast i know drew was talking about like he had kind of like a hand in it and chase and everything and like th- it was my first time listening to some of these songs for the first time ever and i'm like who are these i need to like know about these artists like so i i got on it and kind of started checking them out and yeah the music's great man it's amazing i think one of the cool things about this show too is the what I find really interesting is, you know, it's one of those things where you you look at it, you're not sure, you know, like, 
you're not, not a lot of shows do this, but I find like you watch the first 10, 15 minutes of the show, like season, like episode one, and you're yeah. you're hooked right away. There's like curiosity yeah. right from the get go, which is hard to do in a show. Very hard, yeah. It's it's very hard to do, and it's like it's one of those things where it's like I think it's just the chemistry amongst everybody is yeah. just I feel like so like so genuine, and it's like people love that with when they look at stuff it's like does this feel real does this feel like a group of friends who are actually in the situation and are actually under these circumstances and does it feel real can you connect to it so i think we have that like so much like i think the cast is just like a huge family everybody just like gets along great and it's just there so they get a lot great like like yeah offset but you know in the show you know they don't you know what I mean? Yeah. There's the yeah. kooks, the kooks and the pokes, and right. I don't know if you've been seeing on social media, but like that, th those phrases and the wiggity wiggity, like everything is just blowing up right now. Blowing up, blowing up, bro, and I, I, wiggity wiggity wiggity. I think that's actually like that's rocket power. I think rocket power is one of the greatest shows of all time. The greatest shows ever. And what's crazy about it is, I I never knew that line, um, that wiggity line was in there until I saw like the trailer. And I was like, whoa, that line's in there? Now, like, now that reminds me of Rocket Power. And, like, I had, I was already getting Rocket Power vibes from the show anyway. I was getting Rocket Power vibes from the show. Was, you know what was really yeah. funny? I was talking to Cull Cullen Moss, who plays Sheriff Shoop. And I yeah. told him, I'm, and a lot of people were, like, comparing this a little bit to, like, shows like One Tree Hill and Dawson's Creek. And he was like, well, that's great. I actually was on both those shows, so I have the hat trick right yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's crazy, man. That it's the I don't even know what to say about that. Like that's it's just the comparisons are like crazy. Like I know people have been saying like into the blue, the OC. Yeah. Um we've been OC. getting some the, oh, the, OC. the OC that was just like <laughs> man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. it's and true. That, it's and then people have been saying on my block and stuff like that and it's just like it's crazy to hear everybody's kind of different um takes on like how our show, you know, fits in the world of things. So it's cool. But you know? You, you know what I find really amazing, Dion? And I think what? the showrunners have to do this. And it just shows the generosity of the showrunners. And I think yeah. just every, like every character, you know, mm -hmm. like even your character, everyone kind of has, you know, even if they're not a lead on the show, some amazing moments in the show where they have a lot of opportunity to show what they got. Do you know what I mean? You specifically yes. with the serial scene. Oh my gosh, dude! Do you, you know, know what I mean, though? Like everyone yeah. has like a good role, a good part in it. Everybody has like a really good part. Um, and can I tell you a little story, like a little backstory about my character? Sure, Kels. So let's go. yeah, so Kels is actually like when I got the breakdown for Kels, um, he was originally only supposed to be in one episode. Ooh. So when I when I got the when I got the actual like email for it, it said this was only supposed to be in one episode, but now he's going to be in five episodes. So, like, originally, it was like, okay, I auditioned. I knew it was going to be five episodes, but I also knew originally it was supposed to be one episode. So, like, I was only supposed to be in one episode. But then I got on set and kind of just started working and then vibing with everybody, Jonas, and, and talking to Shannon, who's, like, our writer. Amazing, amazing people to work with. And they ended up writing me in three more episodes and, and gave Kels kind of an arc. Because as throughout it, throughout it I'm kind of, like, there with the, the kooks and kind of just, like, the yes man. Yeah. Like, Rafe would suggest an idea, and I'd be like, "Yeah, let's do it." And the topper would be like, "I don't know, Sarah." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so like, I, I was just kind of there, but then like, you see him kind of progress towards the end, and that's like all that, all that, all that got written in later. Like that wasn't the original kind of plan for Kels. He kind of just like developed. So like, I think that's amazing, and it's like it goes back to what you're saying. Every character kind of gets their moment, no matter how big or small they may seem. They get their moment to shine in the show somehow, and 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 you know. So it was awesome, dude. But you're in like eight, like seven or eight episodes, right? Yeah, I'm in eight. Yeah, I'm in eight episodes. Like I pop in and out. You know what I found out was a really funny thing in the industry, which is hilarious. And it's, it's obviously different for streaming services. But like, yeah. so, you know, on a show you see like previously on the last episode of Outer Banks, you know, you see that, you know what I mean? Do you know that like if they show your character in the previously on like before an episode that counts as an episode even though you're not in the episode really for your imdb yes so i have friends that were on like one episode on suits 
right? So, you yeah. remember that show, Suits of USA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they're on one episode, but they're, they, it's listed as three because they show their character in the previously on Suits <laughs> two times. <Wow. laughs> what? I, wow, you know that makes sense. I mean, it makes sense. Like they're in, they're in the episode. <laughs> isn't that, isn't that wild? That's that's crazy. I didn't know that. Wow, that's, that's sneaky. That's that's very like you can really finesse your resume with that, you know. <laughs> so yeah, something man. we're not gonna spoil it for the Outer Banks fans right now, and I'm sure it's gonna it's it's gonna happen either before or after they see this. But there's something yeah. cool that's might that might be happening on Instagram. Um, in in a, in a couple of days, um, mm-hmm. and uh, it's pretty funny because you know milk and cereal has become associated with outer bags like, for the last couple of weeks now. Yeah, I, dude. Uh, yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> it's been uh, it's been quite interesting. <laughs> Where did the okay? That. So I asked Nick this because I went on live with Nick, and that's kind of how we connected, right? Because you kind of showed yeah. up. You, dude, you know everyone showed up for that live. Like everyone was in there. Like Austin was in there, Chase was in wow. there, Maddie was in there, dude. Everyone was sure you were in there. Like everyone was in there. It was crazy. Yeah. Wow. wow. So basically, what is like? Apparently, there was like an Instagram live with like Maddie and Chase and Rudy like before when I went on with Nick. And there was a milk chug or something? Yeah, so I think I think um it was like a pogue takeover on the OVX Instagram. Yes. And I think it was I think it was um yeah, it was all of them, but I think Chase and Rudy were hosting it. And I I, I remember being in there and just seeing like I was just I joined and then I saw Nick <laughs> commenting like milk, milk, save my life, milk. Like and he just was commenting all these like like milk emojis and i'm like what is he talking about and and then he was like chug the milk chug the milk and then next thing you know chase and Ru- rudy are just like chugging milk glasses and i'm like what is going on <laughs> like what is happening right now <laughs> and then like, we kind of went on crazy. afterwards and people i i chugged like three glasses of milk with him it was nuts yeah man i i i don't know nick's interesting <laughs> nick's an interesting character man like that's my boy though that's my boy no absolutely uh, I love how you mention it. Like it's a family. Like everyone kind of gets like keeps in touch. Everyone's supporting yeah. each other. It's amazing to see. When did you kind of realize that this was a big family? Was it like the first couple of days on set? Was it once the show wrapped? When did you kind of realize that, Dion? Literally before the show even started. To be honest with you, because I honestly I already knew Madeline Klein who plays Sarah Cameron, and I already knew Madison Bailey who plays Kiara. I knew them both. Yep. Um, I've worked with uh, Madison Bailey on a previous show called Mr. Mercedes. And then, so that's how I knew her. And then I knew Madeline Klein because we we both grew up in the same town and kind of like started off in the same agency from a young age and kind of just like watched each other progress until we got like um, old enough to actually like hang out and like we became friends. So like instantly that connection was there. Like I remember my first day on set, uh, Maddie Klein didn't know I got the role. So like she was just on set visiting, I guess, for a day. And I was on set, like it was my first day after my fitting and I was just on set watching everything go down. And like, I remember walking, I was like, I don't know if I was going to get some water or something, but I see Maddie Klein and I hadn't talked to her in a minute because she moved to LA um, and we just locked eyes with each other. And we were like, what? And we just like ran and like embraced each other. And like ever since that day, like everybody has just been like, and you can hear it from everybody else. It's like the cast is just like it, it didn't take long for everybody to just like mesh together and just become a family. Like and everybody's amazing. So Kelsey's yeah. kind of breakthrough kind of role or scene involves, you know, a, a, a bowl of cereal. But like you were yeah. kind of telling me in the preamble, that was a very difficult scene to shoot, correct? Yeah, that was it was challenging. Definitely. Yeah. Did Chase actually slip? Like when you're chasing him, do you know what I'm talking about? Like you're chasing him. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I feel like that he slipped. I feel like if you ask him, he actually slipped. I don't remember if he actually slipped, but I actually tripped over a C-stand and like busted my like foot. Like, (laughs) yeah, there was one take where I was running and because I was barefoot and the floor was kind of slippery. And I like tripped over a C-stand and that it hurt so bad. But I don't remember if he actually uh, slipped or not. I, I what a guy you're in this what a guy eh? you're in this like huge house it's late at night you're eating yeah, cereal like get cereal. out of here 
I, it's a late night snack for Kels, man. Kels is, you know, he's trying to, you know, get some late night gains in for the military, and he's trying to get in the army. And, well, not the army, but the navy. You know, he's 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 that hardcore. face, he, <laughs> that face you make too when you see John B. Like, I'm like, <laughs> it's like I've seen a ghost. It's like <laughs> John B. John, John B. What are you, what are you doing here? I got like cereal falling out my mouth, like. <laughs> Oh, the freaking big I, carton of milk. Yeah. And... <laughs> oh my gosh, man! It was yeah. That scene was that that scene was interesting to shoot, man. It was it was actually challenging because like like I said, that was like a big scene for me. That was like my biggest moment throughout the entire process. So I remember like shooting and like I kind of overthink the scene so much because I was like, okay, I really need to impress Jonas because like this is my biggest moment. I need yeah. to impress everybody, like show them what I can do. I remember like pr like pre. I was like thinking like how I'm gonna do it. And like, you don't really wanna do that as an actor. You kinda wanna go on and just like be organic. Yeah. And I, and I remember just doing that and I and I hopped in the scene and then Jonas was like, no, do it again. Like any, like we, we just kept running it and running it and running it until we got it like perfect. And he pushed me to like like new heights, I feel like um, in my craft. He was like, did not settle. Jonas does not settle until he gets what he wants. And that's like why this show is so great because he's, ha he's so passionate about, yeah. about everything. No, so, amazing. Yeah. Well, Dion, yeah. thank you so much for joining me on Pop Turner to talk about Utter Banks, man. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, man. Thank you so much for having me. Like, thank you for reaching out, man. This is this is awesome what you're doing. No, I appreciate yeah. that. That's awesome. And uh, where can people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything? Yes. Yeah, so you guys can follow me on Instagram at the Dion Smith. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all my Insta all my social media right now. Just Instagram. <laughs> so, yeah. And we'll see you on the gram soon. All right. Sounds good. Man. Absolutely. Thanks for me. Of course, this has been Popternative, youtube.com slash Popternative for previous episodes. And be sure to watch Outer Banks streaming now on Netflix. And until next time, this is Dion Smith and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.